The following video contains interviews with real people with disabilities. The words you will hear are their own. Hello, I'm Richard DeVelder, Chairman of the State Independent Living Council and Executive Director of the Dale McIntosh Center, located in Orange County. Silk is pleased to present to you this video on independent living. In the video, you will see interviews of persons with disabilities sharing their experiences and views on living independently in the community. We hope you enjoy this presentation. Independent living means different things to different people. It may mean living in your own apartment, doing your own thing every day, maybe with assistance, maybe just with someone checking in on you every now and then. It also may mean living in your family home or living in a co-op type of environment with other people. So there's a variety of ways that people can live independently. It means that they can choose whether or not they want to work they can choose whether or not they want to live in their own apartment. They can choose whether they want to marry right. or live with someone else. They can choose higher education or they can choose to go to work. It just means choice is really the bottom line. The value of independent living is knowing that there's support out there. Without the ability to live independently, there is very little dignity in life. I need to be able to uh, take my kid to the zoo as I did today. If I don't have a job, if I don't have the ability to go skiing, to hike in the summer in the beautiful Sierra Nevadas, uh, to raise my children, then my life means very little. Today, however, people with disabilities can do almost anything they put their minds to. It's true that it, it isn't easy to get a job, and the, and the odds are sometimes stacked against us. But if we continue to strive and continue to work, people without disabilities will change their attitudes, and our lives will become better, and we will have more dignity, more hope, and more happiness as the years go by. Living independently means a lot of things. You have your own place to stay, of course, and uh, you have control uh, who to hire and fire and what time they come to your house to help you, such as home care attendants. When you go to school, you be a volunteer or, go by, or start your own business, uh, I think the sky is the limit. As we grow older, we really have to expect that we will have some kind of disability. You don't get disabled, or you don't get feeble, or you don't get all this all together in one, in, in, on one day. Things come up slowly. And as you notice them, I feel you, you, really, you really should sit back and, and, and think and, and see how else you can still enrich your life. I find that you have to be very, very independent. And you have to learn, which was very difficult for me in the beginning, to ask for help. You know, when you have always always <laughs> done everything yourself. Mm -hmm. it's, it's amazing that, that you should be so shy. But I finally got over that also. Well, to me, my independence is my freedom. It's my ability to choose what I'm going to do today, tomorrow, next week, next year. You know, I am in control of my destiny and 
I can make the choices that I want to make. And that's a really powerful thing, you know? I might need a lot of help to get there, but everyone does. I think this is a very exciting time for people with disabilities because in the last 10 years with the ADA being passed, um, there are more laws that protect people with disabilities. And I think we're seeing a change um, even in the attitudes of people with disabilities themselves, ourselves. So for me, as a deaf person, independence has a lot to do with being able to communicate freely and independence for me means I was um, able to use TDYs, teletalk providers for the deaf. Until those were developed, I couldn't independently use the telephone. The telephone relay service was developed. That gave me more independence, more freedom to call the other people that have to, for example, rely on family members or my, my neighbors. Living independently means different things for different people. I think when you have a non-visible disability, communicating and being able to explain and give examples is really important because people cannot, cannot see and, and anticipate how they might need to help you. And so I think when you're making choices, you need to consider what are within your limits and what's right for you and not worry about what other people say. Also, living independently means, to a certain degree, taking risks and not always succeeding. Nobody does anything all by themselves. All of us depend upon other people to educate our children. We depend upon other people to provide us safe drinking water, safe streets, safe housing. I mean, we're a very interdependent society anyway. So part of living independently is realizing that and accepting that your, your interdependence is just going to be a little more obvious. Having a disability means, may mean that you have to be a little more creative, uh, but there's always a way to get it done. I could never do what I've done if I had to be of being in some kind of medical facility. Um, it's real important to stay independent where you're in, free of all that. Free of all that kind of nonsense. Because I think that if you would have to go to one of those, you would be stripped of your dignity, not just your independence, but it would take something out of your very soul. I don't really have um, a basis to compare what it's like not to have independence. Sometimes I have to convince people that I'm worthy of being afforded the opportunity to compete. I have to convince people sometimes that I am capable of being a mom and a wife and living on my own and driving my own car and just shopping and doing whatever I want to do. And being able to get all these services to become independent has been a great advantage in my life. And because of that, I'm able to have a job. I'm able to continue my education. And I have more plans for the future. It doesn't stop here. I know I can achieve my goals.
The value of living independently is that I don't have someone over my shoulder like my mom saying, do you need help with this? Do you need help with that? It's myself making my own decisions and deciding whether or not they're right or wrong. Most often when I get youth with disabilities that come in my office and they're going to college next year, say, they ask me, you know, how can I get out of my mom and dad's house? I, you know, I don't know what to do. I want to make sure that the person that wants to be independent is making their own choices and making their decisions as to where they want to go first. Independent is a way that shows your freedom that you can do whatever you want even though you have disability Amen. that you can just do what everybody else in the world can do. Amen. I think living independently means being able to think for yourself, to act independently with other people, to make your own choices. It means being a little closer to enjoying who you are and why you're here, and appreciating every difference that you have. So it's kind of a, a, it's a mental independence that's really exciting to share with other people. I was independent before my car accident. Why shouldn't I be independent now? There, there's a whole, mo a whole lot more to life than looking like everybody else. There's a whole lot more to life than walking like everybody else or whatever. As I get older with a disability, I'll have to become more creative. That's all. That's all. Um, I have a strong mind, as most people do. And I'll just create something different, a new situation, a new environment, a new reality. Just like a new reality has been created for me as far as becoming disabled. My disability is not the main part of me. Yes, it's an important aspect of who I am because it determines how I do things. But I really I think it's really important for people to understand that being visually impaired is just one part of who I am. I have many other interests besides just my disability. I feel that I'm a well-rounded individual who happens to be visually impaired. What's important to me is the ability, really, just to be able to get up in the morning, um, go to work, and do something that I totally love doing. In every job that I have had, I've always been independent. And, and would would hopefully remain and want to remain independent. I think the importance of um, being independent, and living your in your own home, um, certainly um, impacts your quality of life and well-being. And in the contrast between being in an institution, and that you know they don't have a choice of what they eat and what time they eat, and um, their whole routine schedule. I think uh, persons with disabilities should have control over, you know, the choices they make in their life, um, where they want to live, wh where they'd like to work, you know, the friends they make and being involved in the community. The most important thing about living on my own is the freedom I can come and go as I want and need to. My independence is just being able to live on my own, being able to travel by myself, um, having the freedom to go wherever I want to go because I don't really see myself as a blind person, I see myself as a person. And that's the most important thing I try to get across to people in the sighted world. I say the future is bright for people who want to be independent and have a disability.
because I'm not forced to live in an institution. I'm fortunate to be able to live by myself means a great deal. It means freedom to me. There are also dark days, but um, to me, I think, they, I think everyone has those, disabled or not disabled. And I think that, um, I really think just hold, you know, there, tomorrow will be a better day. Independent living is about calling the shots for your own life. It's real important to stay independent and be able to choose the kind of lifestyle you want. Be proud of who you are and be proud of your body, even if, you know, your body doesn't look like uh, the person next door or you have to do things differently. Um, just be proud, you know? We're only here once. I always think my glass is still half full, not that it is half empty. And I think people can still live a wonderful life and just try everything possible to make it so. I feel like even though I can't do everything myself, I feel like, I definitely feel that I equate independence with freedom. The value of living independently is that um, I don't have to live by what somebody else says. I think we're in a period of time that is changing and I see the light at the end of the tunnel. The value of living independently, for me, it means self-worth. It means survival. And it means greatness. Always understand that there are options. Always know that there is support. The only thing that would stand in your way would be your attitude about your disability. If you have a positive outlook, if you decide that you want to move forward, you can because the services and the support is out there. To learn more about your local providers of independent living services, call 866-866-SILK. That's 866-866-7452 or the TTY toll-free number of 866-SILK-TTY or 866-7452-889.